I have always said, uh, well, first of all, today is the 10th of October, 2018. It's Wednesday. I've always said that I never understood how and where men was certain, suddenly the, or always have been rather, the um, dominant creature. I always felt that they, that men, although I love them, I was raised by a single father. Although uh, men definitely contribute to, um, you know, the birth, not the birth, but the being, um, a reproduction rather, of a child, the woman does all the work. That's always been my argument. So therefore, I can never understand in society why women were always treated as second-class citizens, why we're paid less than men, um, why we are, you know, told that we were, we're supposed to be in the home making babies, cooking and cleaning and doing such. I never understood why women weren't necessarily treated, um, held in high regard and treated with utter respect and um, and held, put on a, a, the um, the pedestal, if you will, because I believe that's where we belong. I never understood that, and this brother actually gets it. It's more like I have so much reverence and respect for the being. No matter what people say, sexism is the biggest problem in the world. Men were allowed to finagle their way and to feel like they're the dominant creature when they're not. We don't give birth. <laughs> like, we don't make humans. Women do. Amen. That's what I'm saying. I've always indicated that my problem has always been trying to understand why is it that women who had to always be in a position where you're supporting the man, why is it that it couldn't be reversed? Or why is it that we're not treated equally so nick cannon gets it and uh, i'm glad to hear brother of um you know of that stature or any man when any man can acknowledge that type of truth i am overjoyed because uh it's not to take anything from men it's just the reality it is what it is and so as a result i, I again i'm grateful for him making a comment because i could never in all of my years i could never understand why women felt like it's, you know, it feel like it's their place to do all of that, you know, and kudos to those that want to do all that, meaning cooking and cleaning and caring on and, you know, feeling like they got, you know, they, they giving birth and they taking care of the kids and they're going, some of them, a lot of now women uh, are going out and uh, working and things of that nature and kudos to them. But, you know, I still feel like the men in society don't value women the way that they should. And it's almost like it's a it's a hate, I feel like sometimes, an utter dislike that men have for women. I just can't understand, you know, the um, on-the-job harassment and things of that nature and and um, destroying the name of people, of, of women, and the hard work and effort that they put forward. And all because of intercourse. If a woman doesn't have sex, you know, with a man, then all of a sudden, in some instances, if a woman doesn't have sex with a man, that this man, by the way, who has high power, um, you know, in control of everything, then all of a sudden he tries to um, defame her name and 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 stop her growth. And I just I just don't understand it. Just sometimes feel like it's a hate um, and a competition or something deep resentment that men have towards women. But again, Nick Cannon gets it.